Hi there. I hope you're doing well and enjoying your year so far. I know I've not updated you guys since my last videos about testing positive for COVID. I went on to test negative, went back to work, went back to regular life. But this is my first time intentionally outdoors since we started 2021. I was terrified of getting COVID again and I realized this week that I've been locking myself indoors and it's also not good for my mental health. So I found a place that people are relatively, you know, socially distanced. There are a bunch of kids playing around, but there's no one around me for me to be terrified of contracting the virus. Now to the topic that we're going to talk about today. If you are someone who's thinking about living a healthier life, losing a little bit of weight and just being healthy in general, then this video is for you. I'm going to share my personal journey with you. If you have any specific questions though, just comment down below and then in my next video, I'll try really hard to answer all the questions. February 2020, I was a little overweight and I knew I was overweight. Actually, I had been overweight for a while. I just didn't, you know, have that willpower to do anything about it. So I decided in February that I'm going to try and live a healthier life. I didn't actually start acting on it till like April. Now, the reason was that one, working out in general was just really difficult for me to just get out of bed every morning to do. I tried it a little bit and I just knew that I needed to start from a place that made sense to me. So if you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to live a healthier life, I think the first point will be to be very honest with yourself. Ask yourself, what are the things that you can do and what are the things that may, may take a bit of time for you to be able to do? So for me, the things that were going to take a long time for me to wrap my mind around, going to the gym, jogging, Anything that had to do with physically exercising, I knew I would not be able to do it consistently. But the thing that I was able to do consistently, managing what I eat every day, addressing my addiction to food, and just having a healthier relationship with food. And the reason why I say that is because I was actually a food addict. So I was not one of those people who, you know, didn't know where their weight gain came from. I eat, I used to at least, I used to eat when I'm sad, eat when I'm happy, eat when I'm bored. I just ate too much, you know, and in the end, it, it had a very big impact on me because I just never waited to be hungry to eat. And if you're in that box and you're eating to fill some emotional gap that you're going through right now, I need you to know that you're not alone. We've all been there. And it starts with actually finding out what is that thing that you're lacking that pushes you to want to find peace in food. For, so for me, it was just about surrounding myself with positive people and being intentional about cutting certain people out of my life who contributed to my level of stress. Because remember, March was when Corona hit. So once we got to March, I was like, okay, if I don't set in place all these boundaries, my mental health will just take a dive because I was hearing stories of people dying and everything else. So I really needed to be intentional about my space and um, being in a healthier, mental state once i was able to be happy without food then i could now be intentional about only eating when i was hungry so again i made the decision in february i started acting on it in april i gave myself all of february 2020 to eat whatever it is i wanted to eat i gave myself all of march 2020 to just eat and I was intentional about it. I told myself that you're going to eat all of these things so that when you start this wellness journey, you won't miss anything. You won't say, oh, I, want, I wish I had my fufu, or I wish I had my TZ, or I wish I had this. Because you had two months to really binge and you ate. So now it's time to put in the work. So February, I ate. March, I ate. April... When I started, I realized that even though 
I didn't, I didn't, I never waited to be hungry to eat. I had programmed my brain and my body to always be hungry. So I was getting hungry really fast. Like I'll wake up at five o'clock, by six I'm hungry. So I started drinking a lot of tea. I had moringa and ginger. I had moringa and mint. I also had a lot of smoothies with me to work. So that the minute I feel like I may be hungry, instead of stuffing my face with a lot of carbs and a lot of things that may not necessarily be good for me that early in the day, I'll just drink tea and then I'll realize that mm, this thing has curbed my hunger till like maybe 10 a.m., 11 a.m. One thing I also did was the flaxseed tea. I saw it on YouTube where you blend the flax seeds, you put one teaspoon of flax seed in hot water, then you add a little bit of lemon to it, you stir it, it curbs your hunger like crazy. So once I was able to curb my hunger with the teas and the flax seeds, then it was like, okay, only eat when you're absolutely hungry. And one of the things I battled with had to do with portions i didn't know how to eat in portions so if i at one sitting i'll eat a whole lot of food and i won't stop eating till it's finished so i started taking food to work where i'll only take what i needed to eat at that particular time so i'll usually eat maybe like a sandwich a tuna sandwich and i'll pack a lot of veggies in that tuna sandwich and I'll eat that at 10 or 12. And then maybe at four, I'll eat a proper heavy lunch, but it'll be so filling that all I'll need for the rest of the day will probably eat a lot of water and maybe a smoothie in the evenings before I go to sleep. And I did this consistently for months. Now, one of the things I didn't do was try to fixate over how many uh, kilos how many kilos i never fixated over how many kilos i've lost i don't still don't have a weighing machine at home because i was really focusing on improving my relationship with food not necessarily losing weight but not eating as much as i used to so i was, I was able to now see that for the first two months i relied heavily on the teeth but after two three months i was able to go from morning till 10 a.m. Uh, without drinking tea or eating anything and still not feeling so hungry. Then I was able to go from morning, and when I say morning, I mean I wake up at 4.35. So I could go from five o'clock to 12 without being hungry. So it became a bit easy for me to now practice um, intermittent fasting. Long story short, if you are beginning the journey now from my experience first thing you need to do is to be very sincere about what it is that's preventing you from losing weight for me it was my addiction to food for you it could be something else and once you understand what the issue is <coughs> like my addiction to food then you start to see what are the small things you can do to break that addiction is it addressing whatever emotional or psychological issues you may have that may contribute to you relying so heavily on food it's a process and you also need cheerleaders around you you need friends who won't shame you friends who won't judge you you really have to be kind with yourself because it's, it's, it's a journey that you're embarking on you're literally separating yourself from something that is so familiar something you, have, you find a lot of comfort in and it's difficult but once you make that decision, the next thing to do is to say, okay, practically, what are the things I need to do to begin weaning myself off this dependence I have on food? You don't do it overnight. I didn't start February and then I'm already, you know, trying to do intermittent fasting. No, you need to substitute the things you used to consume with other things that might be healthier. So if you had a full blown egg sandwich and waffles cereal like the whole nine yard every day for breakfast then you ask yourself can i substitute greek yogurt and fruits with a little bit of granola for breakfast so you're still participating in the act of eating you're still eating 
But whatever it is that you're eating is healthier than the thing that you used to eat. Second thing is consistency. You have to be consistent. So once you identify what your problem is, once you are intentional about solving them, you have to be consistent because it's only with being consistent that you'll begin to see the results. If you do it one week and you stop the following week, you won't see the results. And you also have to be patient with yourself because it will not happen overnight, unfortunately. So before you even get to see the results, you have to put yourself in a zone that this is a new habit that you're developing and it will take time to see the results. Just like it took a lot of time before you started gaining all that weight. So I hope this has been helpful. I know I tend to be very vague sometimes and I really want to answer all the specific questions that you might have. Um, one of the things that I did do was that I stopped eating imported rice. I completely stopped eating imported rice. Now we're going to talk about the specific things I ate. I cut out imported rice. I cut out white bread. I cut out, I already don't eat chicken, so that was easy to just forget about chicken. I limited the, the, the meat I used to eat and I tried to eat more veggies. Now, I used to be one of those people who thought that um, fruits and veggies were not food, so I'll eat a fruit and I'll still be hungry, or I'll have a vegetable and I'll still be hungry. And it took a while to program my brain to understand that when I eat fruits, it's actually food. When I eat veggies, that's actually food too. This is cool, but it's a little bit sweet. So take your time. And then once you start seeing the results, please don't be quick to go right back into the habit you used to have where I would lose a little bit of weight and I'll start eating a whole lot of food to celebrate losing weight. I used to do that a lot. And it's not healthy. You can give yourself a day to cheat. Like when I started off, Saturdays had to be that day. So Saturdays, I could eat whatever I wanted. You have to, you have to do that. So I know that during the weekday, I'm sticking to the strict uh, diet plan. Because on Saturday, I can eat whatever I want. Right, but even you get to a point where by your sixth to seventh month, you don't want to binge anymore. So Saturdays for me, I had to eat my fufu, and it was a it was a ritual. Every Saturday, I have to go and eat fufu and eat all the meat that I have not eaten in the whole week in that one day. In the beginning, it did two things for me. One, it helped me not miss meat so much when I didn't have it during the week because I knew that Saturday was coming, and I was going to eat all the meat I wanted. And two, it, it also didn't make the whole thing so drastic. So I didn't have withdrawal symptoms where I'm like, I, I, I can't eat meat, so I'm stressed out or I'm lightheaded, no. So whatever that thing is for you, whether it's carbs, whether it's fish, whatever it is that you enjoy eating, I wouldn't say completely cut it out of your life, but give yourself one day in the whole week that you will get to enjoy it. I ate out less, so I used to eat out a lot I stopped eating out as much as I used to and I started cooking at home and I made the things I cooked at home work for me as far as ingredients that made sense to me and again I cut off white bread cut off imported rice um, ate more veggies more fruits and drank lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of water and also got enough sleep because if, if you if I stay up late the chances of me being hungry will be higher and me eating late will be higher uh, but the most important thing is I had to get a peace of mind that I had to be in a healthy place to, to know that I was on the right path because if anything had stressed me out I would have gone right back to binging on food for comfort so I hope it's been helpful thank you guys so much for staying click the subscribe button if you want more content from me and if there are any specific things you would want me to talk about too please 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 don't hesitate to suggest it i'll be more than happy to share if there are any specific things that i did not address that you would have wanted me to address please let me know because i'm only sharing the things that i think you would find valuable but if there are other things i did not mention like my meal plans exactly what i, I mean i already told you I, I ate one full meal a day that's it so fruits in the morning 
fruits at night and a very heavy meal during the day. I didn't start out that way. I started out with sandwiches in the mornings because I need I needed something a little bit heavier at night. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy your day and till we meet again, please, please, please stay safe, enjoy the year and be kind to yourself, okay? Be very kind to yourself. It's a journey. It doesn't happen overnight, but you'll get there because if I can do it and I'm like the biggest procrastinator in the world, I don't even have the willpower to get up and go to the gym. If I can do it, there's absolutely no reason why you can't do it.